Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I'll be comparing two of the most sold bookshelf speakers out there. On my right, I have the Edifier R1280 TS, and on my left, I have the Muki MA20-1. I chose to compare these two speakers because they are almost similarly priced. In my video, I'll be covering the following aspects. I'm gonna first talk about the build quality, and you're gonna see that this is a very important part. And I'm also gonna be covering the specifications, the connections, and of course, I'll be performing a sound test. And afterwards, I'm gonna give you my opinion on what speaker I like most and what speaker I'll be keeping for myself. So let's start first by the build quality. First, let me talk about the size. So the Mookies are a little bit bigger than the edifiers, but almost by only one centimeter higher and one centimeter deeper and maybe just a little bit wider. So both speakers have mesh grills on the front. Let me remove the mesh grills. So this is the edifier and this is the Mookie. So the Mookie mesh grill doesn't have here something to support it, whereas the edifier has plastics to support it here. And this shows when you put the mesh grill of the Muki, it has like a dirty effect here. So somewhere like it is a little bit darker than here. So this is something that I don't like very much. Whereas the edifier mesh grill is really better looking. When you remove the mesh grills, both speakers have logos inside. The logo of the Muki is painted, whereas the logo of the edifier is like a block of metal and it looks much better than the one that is on the Muki. The enclosure of both speakers is made of wood, which is very good because wood doesn't resonate. And for the colors of the speakers, they are both two colors. And this is a matter of taste, which color you like better. Now I bought these two speakers in you. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video. So I paid for the speakers from my own money. And the Edifier didn't have any default on it. Whereas the Muki had an oil stain here, if you can see it. And here it is when I unboxed the speaker. And this is very odd, in my opinion. Now, both speakers come also with all the required cables. So they have both RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable and RCA to RCA and speaker connecting cables. And the speaker connecting cable for both speakers is 2.5 meters. And the other cables for the Muki, they are 1.5 meter. And for the Edifier, they are 1.7 meters. Both speakers have remote controls, but I like better the remote control of the Edifier. So this is the remote control of the Edifier and this one is for the Muki. To finish about the build quality, I wanted to talk about the warranty because this shows the build quality of the speaker and how much the company that made it also trust that this speaker will continue on functioning. The Edifiers have two years warranty in North America. For the Mookies, I couldn't find information about the warranty anywhere. So it's not on Amazon's website. It's not in the booklet also that comes with the Mookies. And also when I tried to go to their website, the website was down. And I tried this for about two weeks and it was still down. Now, that being said, let me talk about the specifications and the connections of each speaker. I'm gonna start with the Mookie. So the Mookie is a three-way speaker, as you notice. It has a one-inch tweeter, two-inch mid-range, and four inch woofer. It covers a frequency range from 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz, as it is mentioned in their documentation. And also it has a maximum power of 25 Watts times two. Now to talk about the connections on the Muki, they have first a Bluetooth 5.0 connection. They have also RCA input, they have auxiliary input, and they have headphones output jack. And on the side of the active speaker, you have an input selector that is at the same time volume control. They have a bass control and they have a treble control. And the bass and treble control have a stop in the middle, which make adjusting them easy without looking at them. So let me talk now about the specifications of the edifier. So the edifier speaker is a two-way speaker. It has a 13 millimeter tweeter and it has a four inch woofer. It covers a frequency range from 52 Hertz to 20 kilohertz, and it has an output power of 21 Watts times two. On the back of the speaker, you have the connections. So the edifier has two RCA inputs only, and it doesn't have a Bluetooth input, but it has a subwoofer output. And on the side of the active speaker, you have this button here that works as an on-off button and as volume control button also. This one is for the bass and this one is for the treble. 
and the base and the treble has also a stop in the middle so you can adjust them without looking at them. Now I'll be performing the sound test. Please note that the sound test should be taken with a grain of salt because it goes through many stages before it arrives to you. So it goes through my microphone, it goes through internet compression, and then it goes through your speakers. So let's go and perform the sound test. I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging on till it hits them in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the thrown back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal every I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad Shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging on till it hits them in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's name, cut a shot I don't ever slow up, no I don't preach I got no love for the Now you listen to both speakers and you have your own opinion on what speaker sounds better to you. For me, I find that the Edifier has a better sound than the Muki. So for instance, it sounds tighter than the Muki. The Muki sometimes sounds a little bit hollow on some frequencies, but the Edifier sounds tighter and it reproduces the frequencies better than the Muki. Also, when you raise the volume to approximately the maximum, the Edifier doesn't distort whereas the Muki starts distorting. Now it's true that the Muki has better frequency response range on paper, but in real life the Edifier sounds better. Now for the build quality, the Edifiers look more premium and they are better built than the Mookies. Now for the connections, the Mookies has Bluetooth 5.0 and they have a headphone output jack and this is very good. And the Edifiers have a subwoofer output. Now the Edifiers, if you purchase the R1280 DBS, you can have them in Bluetooth and then also with optical outputs, but the price will be much more expensive than the Mookies. Now, at the end of the day, and for me, I'm gonna keep the edifiers and I'll be returning the Mookies, especially because I found this oil stain on them, and also because I like the edifiers built and sound better than the Mookies. Please let me know in the comments below what speaker would you keep for yourself and what speaker do you prefer and why. I want to thank you all for watching and I hope that this video will help you in your choice in purchasing a bookshelf speaker, whether it is the edifier or the Mookie. If you like this video, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this will help my channel greatly. And this way, you'll not miss my future videos. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.